SQL Sentry Performance Advisor's graphical deadlock analysis provides complete details on deadlocks as soon as they occur on your SQL Server. This information can be found by clicking on the deadlocks tab at the top of the console. In this case you see we have a graphical representation of a fairly typical deadlock that I've detected on one of my servers. It involves two processes and a circular deadlock here involving two resources. The information that's provided here can be crucial to really help understand what happened, how this deadlock occurred, and how I might be able to prevent it again in the future. In this case, we have SPID 69 and SPID 78 uh, that were deadlocked on the consumption rates table as well as the rainfall rates table in my Catawba database. The numbers and letters that you see here with the different arrows show us the order in which the locks were applied and the type of lock that was applied each step of the way that resulted in the deadlock in this case. So I can see here SPID 69, the first thing that happened was an exclusive lock on the rainfall rates table. Next, SPID 78 got an exclusive lock on the consumption rates table. Thirdly, SPID 78 tried to perform an update on the rainfall rates table which as you remember was already exclusively locked by SPID 69. And then finally SPID 69 tried to perform an update on the consumption rates table which was already exclusively locked by SPID 78. At this point you have the circular logic, neither process can complete what it's doing. SQL Server identifies that situation and chooses a deadlock victim, which in this case is SPID 69 as denoted by having the red background for that uh, object in the graph here. So we have the step-by-step -step exactly how this deadlock developed and what became the deadlock victim. I can drill in and get further information. I can double click or expand the, the boxes here in the top half of the screen and get all kinds of details about these different processes. The application that they ran from, the uh, amount of log used, which is really the value that SQL Server uses to determine who the deadlock victim should be, along with the actual commands that were being executed at the time the deadlock was identified. So with the out-of-the-box functionality, really no additional configuration required, using SQL Sentry Performance Advisor to monitor your SQL servers can give you a wealth of information to help troubleshoot and prevent deadlocks from occurring on your SQL servers. If you have any technical questions or would like to place an order, please don't hesitate to contact us.